this going on, did I read that you had, um, but in terms of your health, that you, it all sort of just compacted and you had a bit of adrenal failure. You actually weren't well for a while. That yeah, last year. yeah, I did. So how, how did that? How does that reprioritize things? Because this is about balance, and obviously. Mm giving out so much energy directed towards books, magazines, you mm. are putting yourself on the back burner. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because, you know, I think I'm invincible like so many of us. We and, all think we are. Yeah. And uh, that was interesting. I've actually been journaling, um, you know, since well before the magazine started, pretty much from when the idea came into my head every single day. And, uh, and when I had this massive burnout, I mean, it was huge. It was sort of... Uh, November last year. What happened? Um, so I, I had this crazy, um, you know, launch of the magazine. It was really a tough year, you know, financially, and trying to figure out what the hell I was doing. And then I went overseas for thirty-one days straight, and went to a conference in um, Rome, and then I went to New York, and then I went. It was just doing so many things, and I was working across two time zones, and you know, and then suddenly I literally. I kind of got quite depressed, which was weird because I had no reason to be. Yeah. But it was, and I literally was sleeping about fourteen hours a day, and I was literally wow. having meetings, like kind of in a fetal position on the couch with my staff, and I just thought this is really bad, you know. And then I read back through my journals because I was thinking, what is wrong with me? And I actually couldn't even read up to launch date. Like I just started crying, thinking, Strange. "You poor little thing, what did you do to yourself?" You know. And so I've always been really conscious of my health but that totally reprioritized yeah. it and, and health became absolute number one it's not negotiable basically so. chronic fatigue I and mean, then it's yeah when it your was, adrenals have just absolutely exhausted to the point you just can't function it was awful and because i'm generally so happy and positive and upbeat and i just and it was tough as well because you know trying to run something that's really inspirational and motivate people and you know be that beacon and still try and turn up to speaking gigs and have no energy to actually like it was hard it's and tough and then I had to say to my whole team, I'm just shot, you know, like I'm really sorry this is... But it was great because that was authentic and just speaking out about it and, and I'd go and do speaking gigs still and I'd say from the stage, this is how I'm feeling. And you know what, when you're, when you're actually vulnerable, like that, I think people love you even mm, more and I like yeah. to be kind of okay with it. Yeah. Like, I'm still here and I'm really sorry this is what's going on Yeah, <laughs> how very Brené Brown. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very proud. Yeah, well, vulnerability. Right. It's a, you've got to accept it. It's good.